Welcome to the podcast on Encountering the Word. It's your moment to encounter the Word of God on a deeper level. Now we have our host Cleophas David who will lead us into that experience. Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome you all once again to the podcast on uh, Encountering the Word of God. I trust that you're doing well this morning and uh, we're going to meditate on the word of god today and uh, we're going to be looking at um, first kings chapter number 19 and uh, we're going to be reading from verse 11 and he said go out and stand on the mount before the lord and behold the lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the lord but the lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the lord was not in the earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the lord was not in the fire and after the fire the sound of a low whisper and when elijah heard it he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave And behold there came a voice to him saying What are you doing here Elijah He said I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts for the people of Israel have forsaken your covenant thrown down your altars killed your prophets with the sword and I even I am only left and they seek my life to take it away And the Lord said to him go return on your way to the wilderness of damascus and when you arrive you shall anoint hazael to be king over syria jehu the son of nimshi you shall anoint to be king over israel and elisha the son of shaphat of abel mehola you shall anoint to be prophet in your place and the one who escapes from the sword of hazael shall jehu put to death and the one who escapes from the sword of jehu shall elisha put to death yet i will leave 7000 in israel all the knees that have not bowed down to baal and every mouth that has not kissed him i believe that you have probably read these portion of scriptures before and uh, it is quite amazing to see how the lord is speaking and how the voice of the lord came to elijah through these verses and it's so beautiful for us to just even read the scriptures because as we read the scriptures the blessing of the word of god begins to fill our hearts and i believe that is one of the ways to discover the voice of the lord when we look at the word of god here in this portion of scripture we see that elijah is a zealous prophet and he has gone into the mount of god and he's hiding there in fear because of one word that came from jezebel saying that i will take your life and therefore elijah ran for his life in fear and he came and he hid himself in the caves in the mount of god which is called horeb and while he was hiding in the cave the bible says that the lord said to elijah go out and stand on the mount before the lord now the lord wanted to speak to elijah but he did not speak to him while he was in the cave now inside the cave as elijah sat there he was in his depression he was in his discouragement he was in his fear and he had entered into that cave to hide himself and to conceal whatever he was going through emotionally in that cave he hid himself there he did not want anybody to know that he was in that place well sometimes in life we go through situations we go through circumstances where we build our own caves we build our caves of fear discouragement depression and we hide from people we hide from atmospheres environments fellowships 
we hide from workplaces and and sometimes we wonder what is going on with us because we are so isolated but yet if you see isolation is the plan of the enemy and the lord does not permit that but the wonderful thing about elijah is that he chose horeb the mount of god to hide now a prophet knows the secret to the heart of god he knows if he can position himself in the mount of god if he he knows that if he positions himself in the mountain of god he has every chance of encountering the voice of god now as elijah positioned himself in the mount of god he still hid inside a cave in the mount of god but thankfully the lord located him in that cave and brought him out and he was going to speak to him now the beauty about discovering the voice of god was that there was several manifestations before elijah could encounter the authentic voice of god now what happened when elijah went and stood at the mount before the lord the bible says and behold the lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke the pieces and the rocks before the lord but the lord was not in it the bible says or the lord was not in the wind the bible says now sometimes we look for the spectacular we look for the strong wind we look for you know a great uh, move of the spirit of god for us to hear the voice of god now the lord was speaking to elijah and the lord passed by and then the great wind accompanied the passing of the lord now the wind that passed by was a result of the lord who had passed by elijah so the manifestation of the wind was as a result of the lord passing by yet the manifestation of the wind was not the voice of god the manifestation of the wind tearing the mountains and uh, breaking in pieces the rocks before the lord was not in itself the voice of god so sometimes we think that that is how god speaks that he tears the mountains and then he brings his majesty and glory and then he speaks out of that strong wind maybe elijah was looking for something like that but then the lord was not in the wind the bible says because he is god and he chooses how to reveal himself and after the wind surprisingly there was also an earthquake after the wind there was an earthquake but the lord was not in the earthquake so the land or the feet on which or the ground on which elijah stood that ground there was an earthquake the whole place shook what was god trying to do to elijah through all of this the lord was removing the fear out of elijah because he was filled with fear from one word that jezebel had spoken now as elijah was encountering the manifestations of the lord passing by he now began to have an understanding of the real fear and reverence of god and when we encounter the fear of the lord and the reverence of god begins to fill our hearts i believe that every fear the enemy has deposited in our hearts goes away because we now don't fear what the enemy is saying we now fear what the lord is saying to us hallelujah so these manifestations were removing every fear that was inside of elijah and after the earthquake a fire but the lord was not in the fire but after the fire came a still small voice 
the sound of a low whisper so it is when elijah heard it he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out so you see the still small voice or the low whispers of god caused elijah to wrap his cloak around him when the earthquake happened he did not do it when the wind occurred he did not do it when the fire came he did not do it but the voice of the lord brings a certain reverence of god into our hearts o rakaba sakata rabaha as the lord spoke elijah wrapped his cloak around his face and he went out and he stood at the entrance of the cave and behold there came a voice to him saying what are you doing here elijah so you see that the lord is connecting back with elijah and he's saying what are you doing here elijah it was a sign that elijah had to be somewhere else when god asks a question He is not asking a question because he does not know the answer to it. He is probing Elijah's spirit. He is provoking Elijah and he wants him to know that he is in the wrong place. He was supposed to be in Israel finishing what he was called to do. In fact, Elijah had the anointing to overcome Jezebel. yet he ran from Jezebel he ran from he ran for his life from Jezebel and the lord had to confront and the lord had to ask him what are you doing here elijah and he said i've been very jealous for the lord of hosts for the people of israel have forsaken your covenant thrown down your altars killed your prophets with the sword and i even i am only left and they seek my life to take it away so you see elijah was in that state of mind where he was filled with fear and he was running for his life but the lord in his compassion encountered him and brought him back to the place where his assignment was and gave him a fresh mandate gave him a fresh instruction and refilled him and refueled him so that is the beauty of going into the mount of the lord that as we come into the place where god is the presence of god is the voice of the lord locates us and we are able to recognize the voice of the lord so i want you to help i want to help you understand recognizing the voice of the lord begins with the slow whispers begins with the still small voice of the lord if you can reach a place in your walk with god where you can identify the still voice of the lord i believe that you will receive new instructions for this season elijah received new instructions in fact the lord asked elijah to anoint three people in his room so in the sense when he was in the presence of the lord he understood his own anointing and his own capacity sometimes we need to understand what we are and who we are in the spirit in order to fulfill what god has called us to do so i pray that you will understand like elijah understood who he was he had anointed three people in his room to finish what he had started So I believe the Lord is speaking to you today. Identify the voice of the Lord. There is a still small voice of the Lord speaking to you even in this season, saying move into your destiny. Come into the field and work. Labor for the gospel. The spirit of the Lord is speaking to you, saying come witness to the people of God. Come witness to the lost. go into all the world and preach the gospel there is a still more there is a still small voice speaking to you even right now arise and shine for your light has come arise from darkness how long will you be in compromise how long will you be left behind how long will you be in that place of self pity 
it is important for you to return back to the lord and as you return back to the lord the lord will speak to you and the lord will encourage you god bless you today and have a wonderful day and may the voice of the lord lead you once again in this season remember this morning you are receiving fresh instruction and fresh grace to function in what god has called you to do so go after the voice of the lord god bless